So in this problem, we need to determine the volume of a tetrahedron whose vertex have the coordinate given by A, B, C, and D. Let's try to sketch this tetrahedron. The volume of the tetrahedron will be one sixth of the scalar triple product between a v vector dotted with a c vector cross a d vector. Now let's try to find out the vector a b, a c, and a d. We'll start with vector a b. To compute the vector a b, we consider the position vector o b, and from it we subtract the position vector o a vector. Now our b vector, so this is given by four. 1, 3, minus a vector, so that's 2, negative 1, negative 3. So this gives us, so we have 4 minus 2, so that will be 2. 1 minus of minus 1, so that's positive 2. And 3 minus of minus 3, so that's 3 plus 3, 6. So we have a b vector. Next, we'll determine the vector a c. So to find out a c vector, we consider the position vector o c. And from it, we subtract the position vector OA. So our OC vector will be 3 to negative 1 minus OA vector. So A vector will be 2, negative 1, negative 3. And that will be equals to. Next, we have AD vector. So AD vector will be OD vector minus OA vector. So our OD vector will be 1. 4, 2, minus a vector, so a vector will be 2, negative 1, negative 3, and this will be equals to, so now we have the three vectors, so let's try to find out the volume, so our volume is 1 sixth times, so we have a b vector, so our a b vector is 2 i cap, plus 2 j cap, plus 6 k cap. This is dotted with the cross product between a c vector, which is i cap plus 3 j cap plus 2 k cap, cross with a d vector, so that's negative i cap plus 5 j cap plus 5 k cap. So since this is a scalar triple product, well, we can easily compute it by considering the 3 by 3 determinant so in the first row, we'll consider the components of a v vector that will be 2, 2, 6. Then we have the components of a c vector, so that will be 1, 3, 2. And finally, we have the components a d vector, so that will be negative 1, 5, 5. So we'll expand it along the first row, so we have 2 times multiply it to, so we have 3 times 5, so that's 15, minus 5 times 2, so that is 10, minus 2 times 1 times 5, so that's 5, then we have minus 2 times negative 1, so that's negative 2, so this will become positive 2, plus 6 times 1 times 5, so that is positive 5, minus 3 times negative 1, so that's negative 3, and this will become positive 3, so we will have one sixth of two times fifteen minus ten, so that's five. So this will be ten minus so five plus two is seven. So seven times two is fourteen. Five plus three, so that's eight. Eight times six, forty-eight. So this will be forty-four, or simply twenty-two over three. So this is going to be the volume of the tetrahedron.